thank you for the introduction. Jack and Lazaro, welcome. Hi, nice to be here. Good to be here. Thanks for having us, guys. What it meant for me to have like the Forenza guys, I thought it was great. A real kind of validation that a, a, like a high-end designer is going to come to talk to like a room full of fashion bloggers, you know, on the first day of Fashion Week. Forenza Schooler, you know, forgive me for saying, has always been a very celebrated brand in New York, but I wouldn't say it was the most open or ex accessible brand. Why have you taken the time out of your very busy pre-fashion week schedule to sit down with us today? Just because we're a big fan of all of yours. I mean, that's not the bottom line. We just respect what you guys do. It's when you guys asked us to be here, we said yes, of course. I mean, Jack and Lazaro uh, to spend some time with us uh, just a few days before their fashion week show. Uh, I think it really showed that they weren't just talking about the importance of blogs and social media. I mean, the fact that they took time out of their schedule uh, just before they have so much to do while there's so much going on, I think it really said a lot. How do you get all the tweeting and Facebooking done? Well, we have help. Blogs <laughs> um, just posting about us and things becoming viral and spreading throughout the internet. It's really, I mean, it, it has extraordinary um, impact on, on, on the business. You know, all, all these faces are new to us, you know? We know the names, but not the faces, so it's just interesting to put a face to the name. This audience here, I think, wants to hear a little bit about fashion blogs that you, you think about. When did you first start looking at fashion blogs? What was the first blog you looked at? Do you remember? I remember, it was a couple years ago, um, our friend Katie Grant from Love Magazine um, was doing, I think, that story on, I think it was Tavi, she was doing that, that thing at Tavi, and uh, she like sent us this link, like, look at this crazy girl in the middle of America, and she sent us this link, like, what is this, who is this girl, like, what is this website, we had no idea what, what, what this was, all of a sudden it was like, you know, the dawn of, like, bloggers, and, um, and I guess, you know, I think everyone sort of realized force of bloggers kind of simultaneously. Before you'd have to wait three, three, four days sometimes like over a weekend for a review show, especially during fashion week, whereas now it's kind of instant. Everyone talks to each other in this industry and you guys are helping making that happen even faster. And we're still like really kind of wrapping our heads around this whole thing too. Well, I can tell you so is the rest of the industry. I think everyone's still wrapping their heads around it, but sounds like you guys have made some really great progress. So. I think in both groups, in the group of designers and in the group of editors, there's always going to be holdouts. People who, for whatever reason, um, still haven't really come to terms with the rise and increasing influence of social media. Um, but you know, then you also have designers like Jack and Lazaro, who, as I said during the interview, maybe a few years ago, it wasn't really something they thought about that much. You know, but they've come around, and I think we'll see more and more brands, more and more designers, more and more editors coming on board. How much are we affected by what we read by ourselves? You know, you take everything with a grain of salt. It's interesting to hear what people are saying about a brand and about the company, but you know, you try not to get too obsessed with it either. We like kind of lead a very insular kind of work process with just us and our team and we try not let, letting the outside world penetrate into our world too much and just like, you know, focusing on what's important to us and growing the brand and you know, developing ideas and stuff. So it doesn't play a huge role. Do you worry about not just blogs, but the internet in general, in terms of being having your pieces copied or kind of overexposed before they can get to the stores? Well, that's definitely an issue these days. It's like trying to, you know, produce before like the knockoff people who kind of knock it off and get it out there before you. Um, I don't know. I mean, we're kind of rethinking you know, what our process is and how we show things. It's kind of like it's been a big dialogue for us, and we're kind of still trying to wrap our head around it because it is a bit of an issue. Do you think you're going to be doing more social media in the future? Do you think you'll actually write your own tweets? <laughs> we we kind of do, but not technically. We're a company. We like to do it on a company level. We're on a company level. As opposed to like a we're inundated with other things. 